friends, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another grocery haul. This week I had groceries delivered from Walmart and I ran into HEB. Same old, same old, nothing new here. I did stock up on some holiday things. Um, if you watch my channel, you do know that I've already cooked some Thanksgiving meals. That's already aired on my channel. We're going to my mom's for the holidays, so she's doing all the real cooking on Thursday. So the holiday stuff I have is me prepping for, you know, getting ready to put our tree up and things like that, holiday baking, the fun stuff. But there is a lot of stuff behind me. As you can see, I even have a little bit of decor sitting over there. Um, I normally do a meal plan with these in case you're new. Um, typically I run through a full meal plan. This week I don't have a really thorough meal plan because it is Thanksgiving, we're going out of town, things like that. Um, I am gonna be making potato soup. That usually lasts a couple of nights. I'm going to do some, um, uh, fish and chips, like, you know, English style fish and chips. Found a bunch of different recipes. We're gonna try one. I've got some cod in my freezer. I think it's gonna be fantastic. I'm super excited about that one. We're gonna do some shrimp scampi, and then I'm gonna do another pasta dish. I think I'm just gonna like saute some chicken breast and serve it with some spaghetti with homemade sauce on the side. Sounds really good, sounds really simple, and that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. Um, other than that, of course, we'll be at my mom's house. I'm gonna spend a couple nights down there with my kids, my husband and my oldest have to work, so they'll have to come back home, but my mom will do the cooking while we're there. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic week this week, and I do hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I don't know for sure what days I have videos going up this week, so when you see this, it's Tuesday. I may have one on Wednesday. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it for Wednesday or for Friday, we'll see, but I do have a total of three videos for the week, and of course my What's For Dinner will air over the weekend as it usually does. All right. That's enough chatting. I've got the prices ready to go up here on the screen. Let's see, I spent $113 at Walmart and $78 at HEB. Let's turn you around and take a look. All right, friends, here it all is. All the grocery goodies. Just flipped it up a little bit. This is HEB this week and down there is Walmart. We'll start with HEB just for fun. And down here on the floor, bag of potatoes. Those are Texas sized potatoes. Just got those for baked potatoes or french fries or whatever we want to do with them. It's just nice to have them on hand. They were actually very hard to get. <laughs> um, the week before Thanksgiving, there's a lot of things that are hard to get. So I hope you guys have already gotten everything you need because, wow, it was crazy out there today. And it's Friday. Like, Thanksgiving is pretty much a week away. All right. I did get butter or, like, creamy butter spread. It's not real butter. I like this for, like, toast and waffles for my kids and stuff like that just because it's easy and it stays soft. I don't have to leave it on the counter. Plus, it's cheap. Uh, corn syrup for baking. My husband requested peanut butter rice crispy treats because they're his favorite. Need corn syrup for that. Uh, tortilla chips. Yeah, I buy them every single week. <laughs> uh, coconut flakes. This is for baking that I'm going to be doing. Some bacon just to make breakfast or BLTs. Some eggnog. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get any and we like to put up our tree um, like the weekend after Thanksgiving and I usually make some, you know, fun treats and stuff like that and we have eggnog. It's like a little family tradition. So I was afraid if I waited, I wouldn't be able to get any and it was hard to find. This is our favorite brand. So I just went ahead and grabbed at least one thing. I'll try to get some more next week, but my gosh, the price. Oh, and FYI, I know it's by Southern Comfort, but this is actually non-alcoholic. They just make it and it is by far, in my opinion, the best eggnog. All right, I got some dark chocolate brownie mix. So they had a deal at HEB. You spent $15 on Hill Country Fair baking stuff. Hill Country Bear Fair is one of their store brands. You spent $15 on certain baking items. You got $3 off your basket. And I did need some stuff, so I was like, well, I'm going to take advantage of this deal. So you'll see stuff like kind of mixed all throughout the grocery haul. I did get some cocoa. My youngest, Jensen, is in the mood for cocoa, so I picked up two different kinds. You'll see another one in a minute. Pepperoni. Um, I add these on top of our Totino's pizzas, and we still have a box of those left. We'll be eating those this weekend. Uh, mac and cheese. This one is for my husband to take to work. I'm not making like a real lunch for him next week because it's a short week. He'll take this and he'll probably take some ramen or something and I'll make some muffins for breakfast. Marshmallows for the cocoa, the ramen for my husband to take to work next week. I did pick up a can of these um, Muir Glen crushed fire roasted tomatoes. This is actually my favorite brand of tomatoes. I know they're not like San Marzano tomatoes, but I actually think these taste fabulous. They're half the price of a can of San Marzano tomatoes. 
So if you're looking to make homemade pasta sauce, this is a little bit cheaper than the authentic way. And it tastes a little better than just like the generic crushed tomatoes. I got a bag of these Isadora traditional refried beans. It's our favorite brand and I used one of our packs the other day, so I wanted to replace it. More Reese's Puffs, I'll take those to my mom's just so that my kids have something to eat to snack on for breakfast while we're there. She also makes waffles. They love her waffles. They call them gamma waffles. I don't know what makes them so special. Like I have the same butter that she buys. She buys the spray butter and it's dairy free, which is awesome. I got the same stuff. My mom buys the H-E-B waffles, same waffles. But for whatever reason, they think her waffles taste so much better than these waffles. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, I did get a can of this whipped topping. I couldn't find it at Walmart, so I ordered some Cool Whip. You'll see that in a minute. But at HEB, I was able to get one can. I use this for coffee and stuff, so I like to have it. I got a bunch of different Jellos. So two boxes of strawberry banana, two boxes of cherry, and two boxes of orange. But all they had was sugar-free. And the thing I make with these, um, I need at least one box of regular. So I ended up having to get a box of regular Jello brand orange Jello, but that's okay. Here's some more hot cocoa. This is the Mexican hot cocoa. It's got cinnamon in it. Tastes amazing. These are like chocolate discs. Then you melt them uh, in your hot milk. Some baby spring mix to make salads and sandwiches. Some of these little peppers because we really, really like those for sandwiches and salads and snacks. Tomatoes for salads. Some hash browns, just cubed potatoes. I'm gonna use those to make potato soup because I don't feel like chopping potatoes. And then finally, a big bag of broccoli. They were out of like the little produce bags. So I just put it in a um, HEB bag and that's cool. But there is all the stuff I got at HEB. Like I said, that was like $78. It was 77 and some change, but almost 78. All right, let's take a look at Walmart. So first of all, to get some cat food. Um, my cats are not out, but I was afraid I'd have trouble next week getting food and I didn't want to get too low. So I just picked up what they had, which they don't have any big bags, but I got a small bag and that's cool. Uh, some tomato paste in the tube, just cause it's easier than the cans. It is way more expensive, but it's easier to work with. Some garland, I use this to wrap around the banister of our stairs and then I put lights in it. And sometimes I put bows and stuff, but I couldn't remember if I had any from last year. And if I did, I'm just gonna double it up because I'm sure that this is much uh, thicker than the stuff I got last year because I think I got some stuff from Dollar Tree. Uh, maraschino cherries, these are to make cherry almond cups, but again, I couldn't get the almond paste, so we'll just set those to the side until I can. A thing of paper, 750 sheets. My kids like to draw on this, and of course I print stuff out all the time, so we go through this pretty regularly. Whips topping, and like I said, it's because I couldn't get the spray can. So I ordered that just in case, but lo and behold, I got the spray can at HEB, so we're good to go. Uh, sugar, because I'm lower than I thought I was, and I was just at Sam's Club too. That's okay, just ordered a little bag that'll get us through for now. Mac and cheese, this will go to my parents' house with us for my kids, just so they have something to eat while we're not there, or while we are there. They're not huge fans of Thanksgiving food. So, you know, other than the actual meal, They'll probably want other stuff, waffles and cereal in this. So I'm gonna take it down there. Uh, white chocolate raspberry creamer because all the holiday flavors were sold out. Three cans of sweetened condensed milk for baking. Whipping cream for baking and different stuff. Uh, prepared horseradish because I'm in the mood for a Bloody Mary. Uh, I like to put that in my Bloody Marys. You guys drink Bloody Marys? Do you like Bloody Marys? I've got a recipe that's got like so much stuff in it. Um, if I can, I'll try to film it and share it. But I don't know how, do y'all do drink those? Are you interested? Let me know in the comments. Uh, chocolate milk for Cam. You guys know I get this all the time. He drinks like one of these a week. He loves them. Uh, this is for Rice Krispie Treats. I am out of the press and seal and that's my favorite because I cannot stand cling wrap. I know sometimes you need cling wrap, but that stuff, I cannot get it to work. Oh my gosh, if you watch my Thanksgiving video, you know I just struggle with it. So anyway, pick some more of this up. Some caramel sauce, sometimes I put it in my coffee. I got three things of these. Also going to my mom's house. Um, my son Cam likes these. My son Jensen likes just the little soy sauce flavored ramen. So I made sure I had stuff that is easy to travel with to take over there. I ordered French bread, but they were out. So they subbed the Italian bread, which I really don't care for that much, but I'm using it to make croutons. So we're gonna roll with it. Two bags of cranberries. And this one looks like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's seen better days. The other one looks okay. I like fresh cranberries. I do a lot with them. My husband loves cranberries. These, I'm probably going to open them, wash them, dry them, and just freeze them because 
just looks like it's seen better days. Uh, I actually got two bags of these onions. They are, oh my gosh, I think they're like $2 a bag right now at Walmart. I go through a lot of onions, like a lot, a lot, a lot of onions, and they last for a while. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags of these. That way I have plenty of onions to get me through like the next, I don't know, maybe two weeks. If you guys watch my channel, you know I cook a lot. Onions go in pretty much everything I cook. So, I mean, there's maybe a week's worth of onions in that bag. 18 eggs because, um, yeah, they're really expensive, y'all. <laughs> they're so expensive. They're crazy expensive. I did also, um, I had enough rewards points for Market Street. I got a free dozen eggs. So, yay, that's awesome because I was going to make some breakfast burritos. And then finally, a bag of pears because I have leftover pie crust from... My Thanksgiving video, I'm gonna make a pear tart. Super excited about that. My husband loves pears. I like pears. I think this is gonna be fun. But that is it. That is the grocery haul. I went over the meal plan. I gave you the prices. So yeah, I think that about does it. All right, friends, that does it for my weekly grocery haul. A lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. I actually had more stuff, but they were sold out of it. <laughs> I tried to get some of those scent sickles that you hang in your tree. I've heard good things from other people. They are completely sold out of every one that I try to order. So a little bummed about that. I'm going to have to find those somewhere because I really want some for my tree. Uh, what else were they sold out of? There's, oh, almond paste. I make these things called cherry almond cups. And I typically only make them around the holiday season because they do take a bit of time. And I need almond paste, but it is completely sold out. I was really bummed about that. I'm going to see if Amazon has the scent sickles and the almond paste just so I can get those coming in. So I can get some holiday baking going because I'm super excited about that. I don't bake very often throughout the year, but from like mid-November all the way through New Year's, I am on it. I love to be in the kitchen making goodies and sweets and treats and stuff like that. So be looking for more videos. Anyway, make sure you hit all those buttons. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I do grocery hauls and tons of cooking videos, a lot of food related content. So anyway, anyway everyone have a very happy, happy Thanksgiving. I will see you soon with another video.